Hey, good afternoon, more Medic One. Today we're working on a Honda HRX217, and I'm going to be replacing the starter on it. I'm going to show you what this one's doing. Whenever you pull the rope, it's not retracting like it should, and uh, probably see how it's just real super slow. The starter itself, is spring, is probably weak. And uh, the only way to fix this would be to replace the starter. However, I'm going to show you how to lubricate and possibly repair the one that you have. Uh, the springs on these are weak anyway. So when they get a little bit of rust on them and they'll break inside and... Uh, so let's go ahead and get this one replaced. It's super simple. It's just three screws right there on top. Let's get these nuts loosened up. They're 10 millimeter. careful not to lose the spacer that sandwiches between the starter and the blower housing. Sometimes they'll stay in place like these are. The new starter is like nine bucks. And this is a OEM one. So just go ahead and set it down over the shroud. Install your nuts. Just get them cinched down. You don't have to kill these nuts to get it tight. It'll let you know when it's tight enough. Go ahead and uh, snap your rope through the eyelet. Just hold it like this and give it a good jerk down. Just like that. Same way with the new one, except this time you're going to pull up. That's pretty much it. As you can tell, works much better. Let's go ahead and dig into this old one and see what's wrong with it. Keep in mind, you know, these, these starters really aren't designed to be serviced. They're just throwaways. But as you can tell, it's not winding the rope back up in there. I suspect that it's just dirty. But uh, what you want to do, shoot, it's a Torx. And I believe it's a 20. Correct me if I'm wrong. But to get this center nut out, you want to turn it to the right because it's got left hand threads. Seen a lot of these starters screwed up, stripped out because people try to uh, take this bolt off lefty loosey when it's supposed to be righty loosey. So let's be careful here. And I'm going to, I should have done this beforehand, loosen off on the rope first. There's not even a groove cut in the pulley right here so you can wrap the rope. But I'm going to 
let the spring wind itself right here. Okay. Now, it should be good. Just take and wiggle this rotor up. And as you can tell, if I can get a close up of that, that spring is just filthy, dirty, nasty. But what you can do is inspect it, inspect down in here, clean all this dirt. See, I've got uh, bugs have uh, built a home in here. Some kind of spider or whatnot. Just inspect it. Let's get some oil on this spring and put it back together and see what we come up with. I'll just give it some penetrating oil. Kind of dingle it down and I don't recommend doing this on your own tailgate, but I don't mind. Just kind of wash the dirt out of there. Go ahead and get the rotor set back down into the starter assembly and you can feel it when that spring catches right there at this point go ahead and reassemble your starter put your dogs in put your friction spring your dog track and then start the screw. Remember, turn it to the left. And don't over tighten this. It's not going to unscrew itself, so just when you get it there, just finger tight this sucker right about there. Now, get your rope, pull all your excess through, except one loop right here. Get your loop started. What you want to do, you want to figure out which way you want to wrap it. So you know the spring is going to be turning this away or winding or tightening this away. So we'll go one, two, three, four, five, and let's check and see if we got enough tension. I can feel the end of the spring bottoming out right there. I say she's good to go now. So, can you fix these? I just did. I may not even have to take them apart. I might be able to just come up in here, right where the starter meets the, or the rotor meets the starter cap, and just douse it with some WD-40. But make sure your dogs kick out. This one's actually needs to be wrapped one more time so let me show you be easier if I had a pick so just take your loop pull it up through and wrap it one time pull it. now then Good to go. Got me an extra. If you have any questions about how to replace the starter and fix one, if you want to call it a fix, let me know. More Medic One. Have a superb day.